So all the factors that you talk about every single day, up until September, getting money from the government, people had left the industry. They thought travel and tourism was going to be more abundant for decades to come. The Amazon effect, many markets where we have hotels, as do our competitors. Amazon comes in with a fulfillment center. They're paying people a lot of money. Everything that you can think of is making it difficult for us to hire people. But we try to make it easier. We give incentives to team members that are part of our group already, if you bring in a family member. We give the ability to have great benefits. So we're trying. A lot of markets, it's a challenge. And what we're also seeing, it's difficult on middle managers and senior managers of our hotels and organization because we're asking them to do more. And it's a lot of pressure. But we're going to work our way through this. The business is coming back. We're seeing strong numbers in most of our markets. We need to get business travel back. As I mentioned a moment ago, international travel right. is going to help New York City Marathon here in 24 hours. It's a very strong moment that we are feeling bullish about. It's going to take some time to get back to 2019 levels, but we're getting there. In terms of wages, how much are they having to go up right now? To be it depends on the market. Everything is competitive. Everything is market driven. Uh, but they are going up and trying to keep an eye on things. But we also need to get back to fuller staffing levels. And in terms of being able to pass those costs on to customers, the, the pricing on an on a, on a overnight room these days has gone up as well? What we're, seeing, what we're seeing, Andrew, is five-star, four-star, five-star resorts are very strong in terms of the ability to raise prices. The competitive nature of less business travel in central business district hotels during the week is not allowing us to increase prices. Weekends are strong in most markets. So it's really a variable. Uh, we, we look to raise rates where we can, where there is enough demand so that we feel that we can charge a bit more and obviously try to cover our expenses. And what's your sense long term, if, you know, a year from now, in terms of what business travel looks like? Is it, is it back to 2019 levels? Is it, I remember Bill Gates about a year ago saying the pandemic's changed everything to the point where business travel is going to be cut in half. Well, you mentioned the NYU conference, which will start Sunday night and Monday morning, CEO panel uh, that is moderated by your colleague, Sarah Eisen. At lunch on Monday, I'm having a conversation with Jamie Dimon. Jamie Dimon feels differently. Jamie Dimon feels that business travel is going to resume. We are optimistic. Will it be a year, two years? Can't really tell. But people are more comfortable. Our hotels are busy. I was at Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel yesterday for a meeting. We had a conference in-house. It was full. People were doing business. They were communicating with each other. They were in person. So it's getting there. It'll take a year. It'll take two years. But we're going to get back to levels that we are accustomed to in the travel and tourism industry. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.